Hello everyone, how are you? So today I'm going to show you how you can install uh, Docker on Red Hat Enterprise Linux 8. And also I'm going to uh, install Docker Compose and set up WordPress for there. So let's get started. First of all, I'm going to create a new instance using Red Hat Enterprise Linux. So let's go to launch instance and then uh, search for Red Hat. There it is, Red Hat Enterprise Linux 8. Click next, um, then I'm going to choose the instance type T2 Micro. Next, I'm going to choose the IEM role, that's EC2 role. And then everything as it is, protect the against accidental termination, that should be fine here. Next, add storage, um, that's all fine. Next, add tags, that is also fine. Next, configure security groups. And I choose, I have created security groups previously, so I will use that. Then review and launch, and um, I have accepted these launch instances. View instances, okay, let me refresh the page. So but the instance is launching and I need to copy the IP address. So let's wait one minute. I've copied the instructions in a notepad, which I will share with you in the video description. You can just copy that. So basically what we'll do is we will use a DNF to add a repo for Docker and then uh, we will install Docker, we will install Docker Compose, and then we will create a Docker Compose file for WordPress, and then we will set up there. So here we need to use 8.0 because that's the port 80. Okay, let's refresh if the instance is ready. Still initializing. It usually takes around one or two minutes. Let's wait. Meanwhile, it's getting ready. I copy the uh, IP address and instructions, and I go to the folder where I have the PM file. Let's open the PM file, click for the properties and make it make sure that it's read only. And then I open the PowerShell here. Now Windows 10 has options to connect to the any instance using PowerShell. That's great. I don't need to put it anymore. So uh, this is the instruction to connect. Let's uh, let's try if the our instance is up and running. Well, it's I think it's still not ready yet. Here it is. I'm going to press yes. Okay, clear. So I clear my screen. Then I need to uh, run this sudo dns config manager. That's great. Then I'm going to uh, get the repo list. So I just need to see if the repo list is fine. And it should show our newly added Docker. Okay. So this is our Docker CE stable. I'm going to install the Docker C latest version. Uh, it says Docker CE 3.2, that's fine, let's install. This process takes around two minutes time. So just wait and see the installation process. It looks great in the blue screen.
Okay, it takes more than two minutes. So let's wait for this. Oh, that's done. Let's try to, uh, instruction person is done. So let's start the Docker, which is to do systemctl start Docker. And then sudo systemctl enable Docker. By enabling, you, you uh, ensure that the Docker is started when you reboot the system. Okay. Now let's take the Docker version, which is Docker version. And it's 20. That's fine. So um, let's move our privilege to root. Clear the screen and we need to uh, install the Docker Compose. That's very important. So for Docker Compose, you need to copy this command. This actually will download the Docker uh, Compose from the GitHub repository and press it inside this folder. You shall look at being Docker Compose. So let's look at this. This is done. And let's check if the version is correct. That is, user local bin docker usr local bin docker compose This no file here. Uh, let's check ls. Okay. Let's run one more command that is uh, executable. So that's to do that. Okay. Now let's uh, run this command slash user local. Uh, bin docker slash compose and minus v. That's great. So we see the Docker version is 1.29.2. This is a bit cumbersome to use, so we can use a symbolic link to uh, make it a bit user friendly so that we can run it using just Docker compose. So let's try. It. Docker compose minus two. And that's it. So we just make a symbolic link and uh, to our user local bin Docker compose to user bin Docker compose, and that's it. It's, now we can directly use Docker compose. So now we have installed Docker compose and it's running. Let's try to uh, create a folder. WordPress. Go to that folder, create a Docker uh, YAML file, Docker Compose.yaml file, Docker Compose.yml. Okay, I have created an example Docker Compose file, which is this part. It should probably work. But if it doesn't work, then we need to find it. So, what it does. It's taking an image, MySQL 5.7. It's taking WordPress from the latest version. It's taking volumes from WordPress data to word.html. It is taking port 80 from the Docker container to the system 80. That's fine. It creates WordPress user, WordPress password, WordPress database. So all good. Now let's try to write this file. And we try to run it Docker compose up minus t awesome so it is pulling all the images that is required for the first time because this is the first time that we are pulling in images then uh, it will complete the uh, docker compose file uh, installation setup it will create the database it will create the users passwords all those things and it will uh, create a HTTP server as well. 
so this takes some time let's wait to see okay it's done now we can see uh, if we check the ip address of the server we should see the wordpress setup page here and let's see and here it is this is our WordPress setup page and it's pre-configured that means we just need to put english language site title you don't need to give database configurations because it's already given so i just give uh, whatever it is install wordpress and i think it should be installed now let's awesome so we just install uh, wordpress in red hat enterprise linux 8 using docker that's being said uh, we just need to point in our pointer domain and set up ssl all those things i think we can do that uh, but not i will not cover this into this tutorial i think this is only for to install docker and set up a wordpress site over there using docker compose so thank you i i hope you like this video if you like this video please subscribe to my channel and share this with your friends and let's make the channel a place where we can get all the technological tutorials thank you have a nice day bye bye